Hello friends, in today's video we're going to go over the best builds for the brand new 7 star terror raid Decidueye event that will be dropping in your games very soon. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So starting on the 17th of March, we will see the introduction of a brand new 7 star terror raid in games and it will be featuring the Alolan Pokemon Decidueye, the grass and ghost type starter Pokemon. Now, to kick us off in today's video, we'll take a quick overview of Decidueye and see what options it can bring into this Terror Raid event. As we know, Decidueye, its base typing is Grass and Ghost, so it's predominantly going to have those type attacks on top of something that's going to complement its Flying Terror type. Of course, going to be a Flying Terror type Pokemon going into this 7 star raid event. It is going to be level 100 and it can have the abilities either Overgrow or Long Reach. Neither are really going to be too detrimental in these raids. So I don't really think the ability itself for Decidueye matters here. Decidueye also got a base speed of 70. So not the fastest of Pokemon, but not a slouch either. And if you could take a look at the HP for this one overall, because of that 30 times multiply for seven star raids, it's going to have a HP of about 8,910. So that's a damage output that you're going to have to put on this decidueye before it is taken down now the move options that we are going to look at you've got to think because of that flying terror type that it does have going into these terror raid events it will have some flying type attacks brave bird is definitely going to be an option it's the strongest physical flying type attack that it does get access to so likely going to have that either that or acrobatics you would imagine between one of the two spirit shackle is its signature attacking move it is a ghost type attack again a physical type attack as well so it kind of makes sense for decidueye to have it going into this raid going to make it more difficult to bring things that are weak to ghost type attacks of course that might be good against the flying terror type then leaf blade is a good grass type stab again going to play off that physical attack stat as well then sucker punch is another option you could also throw a knockoff here here as a dark type stab that you could potentially see on Decidueye but it does give coverage to it in a lot of ways with those dark type attack. Low kick and low sweep are options of fighting type attack so if you're thinking of bringing maybe steel types because it resists flying type attacks that is something to consider. I haven't put it on the list because I don't really see Decidueye running something like that but of course until the raid event drops we've got nothing actually confirmed so this is all theoretical at the minute so just bear that in mind for this video hurricane if we're going down a more of a special route with decidueye because to be honest it's special attack and it's physical attack are very strong and very close to each other so you could maybe even see a mixed decidueye set where it goes with something like spirit shackle leaf storm and then it throws in something like hurricane over something like brave bird or acrobatics or mixes between the both because of being strong on both ends of the attacking spectrum there so hurricane a nice option it is a strong flying type attacking move we've seen previous previous seven star raid events use hurricane as an option as well because of that added bonus of having confusion with that leaf storm again going to be a special attacking grass type attack that it can use to its own benefit it will have the drawback though of lowering its special attack by two stages every time it uses it so that can be to our advantage of course and then acrobatics we have mentioned is another option but decidueye overall has a very good move pool very deep move pool lots of options but i feel like these are probably the options that we'll see more likely than others that it has access to now the setup options for decidueye we've got to be aware of its setup options because it does have a lot of ways to boost its attack its special attack and reduce ours as well and make things a bit more difficult for us to take it down first one to note because of all those big physical threats that it's got like brave bird like spirit check or like leaf blade knockoff sucker punch it is going to be very threatening if it does run Swords Dance, and that is pretty likely in my opinion as well. Boosting its attack stat up by two times every time it uses it, so I would say that is pretty likely. Nasty Plot is another option. It's got to boost the special attack by two stages every turn if it goes down more of a mixed set or if it just goes down predominantly more of a special attacking set, which is really possible as well. So both of those options on Decidueye can make it quite threatening. It throws up the option for us to always try and include Taunt on our Pokemon builds 
if we've got access to it so we can at least stop it setting up when it is getting into positions where it would be becoming a bit more threatening feather dance is another option that it does have which would reduce the attacking stat on our pokemon by two stages and it's just a bit annoying to have to deal with because if you're predominantly relying on something with belly drum or sword stance and you boost it up and they just use feather dance just randomly then it will nullify any boost kind of waste in your turn so that is something that it does have access to and something i think we should keep in mind as well rain dance i've put on here because other than the hurricane it doesn't really make sense but if it's running hurricane i could definitely see it running rain dance as an option because it does boost the accuracy of hurricane to 100 percent meaning that it's going to be hitting every time meaning of course that is going to be a little bit more annoying to deal with so something just to bear in mind as well and light screen is something that it does get access to and you can imagine going into this terror raid where the seven star raid pokemon normally get a couple of turns for free before the raid battle begins light screen rain dance nasty plot sword stance all things that you could see it's setting up before the battle even begins so these are a few options to think about with decidui and options i think that we'll probably see going into this seven star raid event but of course so that's the overview of Decidueye so let's hop into game and take a look at some of the best builds that I think we can put together for going into this raid event so I think going in against Decidueye obviously it is that flying terror type so predominantly we're going to want to hit it with super effective attacks it's going to make it a lot easier to deal with things like ice electric rock are all going to be the best options to go in against the flying terror type but we've got to keep in mind that Decidueye's base typings are grass and ghost so it is going to carry those threats as well and hit pretty hard with them so it's good to just keep those options in mind when we are choosing our pokemon now i'm going to pull up some pokemon obviously that i've put together that i think are going to be good going into this raid my first pick is going to be weavile weavile i think is going to be an extremely strong pokemon going into this raid event now it isn't generally known as having the best defenses but i do believe that weavile can do a good job against decidueye it's got that dark and ice type and it's going to resist any ghost type attacks from decidueye Unfortunately, it is not going to resist any of the flying or the grass type attack. It will still take neutral damage from those, but I think in the way that we've built Weavile, it should be able to do some good work against Decidueye. And it's the only Pokemon that we've got access to to have something like Sword Stance, Screech, and a good super effective physical attack that we can launch at it, meaning that we can potentially get set up and cut down the time on being able to complete these raids effectively. Of course, like I've been saying, this is all theoretical. So until we know exactly what the Decidueye is running, this is all theoretical at the minute, but the theory craft behind these builds does make a lot of sense i think for what we potentially know we're going up against so we've are like i say dark ice typing terror typing has to be ice here shell bell is the item of choice because it is going to give us a line of recovery when we're going into these battles and then we look at the move set we have sword stance we have screech taunt and ice spinner sword stance going to give us a way to boost our attacking stats while screech also reduces the defensive stat on something like the decidueye by two stages every time so idea of this set would be probably turn one taunt Taunt. then the next three turns sword stance next three turns screech then we can go for those ice spinners do big big damage because it is playing off our same type of attack bonus and then hopefully we get to the point where we can terrestrialize and then get those big damaging attacks off to finish it off now for the weavile set weavile generally has a good base special defensive stat so we don't need to worry about that too much we have maxed out its hp give it 252 in hp and then we have give it 252 in defense just to make sure that we can take the grass type attacks and the flying type attacks a lot better we don't really need to generally boost our attacking stat we've given an atom in nature there so we've given a little bit of a boost naturally but with the sword stance and the ability to kind of boost the attack stat there i feel like the defensive investment is probably better suited on weavile this way so that is the weavile i think a really nice option going into it if you don't want to go with any of the other ones now the next one we've got is maridon and i think maridon probably going to be the strongest option going into it but for you scholar players you don't have access to it in game try and find friends that do have access to violet and trade with them to get yourself a copy of it 
but we do have other options throughout this video that are going to be just as good if you don't have access to this legendary in your games. Now, Maraidon, you're going to need that electric terror typing as well, but with the electric and dragon typing on it, it is going to resist a lot of the main attacks coming out from the Decidueye, namely the flying type attacks and the grass type attacks that it will have access to. Going to have the item Shell Bell, and then the move set we've went for is Calm Mind, Metal Sound, Electric Terrain, and Electro Drift. Now, you can change Calm Mind with Taunt if you feel like that's more suitable for uh, going in against the Decidueye to shut down its setup options, things like we've covered the Sword Stance, the Nasty Plot and stuff. But if you want to kind of boost your own attacking stats with Maraidon, then Calm Mind is a nice option as well because you're going to be able to boost your special attack up and then play that as well with the Metal Sound that's going to reduce the special defense on the Decidueye by two stages every time you use it. Electric Terrain is going to boost your electric type attacks as well, further boosting things. And then Electro Drift is going to be the main attacking option on the Maraidon. Hate on drive we don't have an option with the ability here because it is kind of locked into that with an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack with a modest nature and like i say with that shell bell as the option and of course just a reminder all of the sets that we feature in today's video will be in the description if you want to take a closer look at them now the next pokemon we're going to look at is magnazon it's the perfect pokemon type wise to go in against decidueye it's going to resist the flying type attacks it's going to resist the grass type attacks and it's bulky enough to take damage from any of those ghost type attacks that come out either with that being special or physical especially if it's physical of course we've given the shell bell item again because it doesn't have a way to recover outside of this so shell bell gives us a nice line of recovery could go with leftovers if you decide to but shell bell i feel a bit more consistent for the seven star terror raid battle electric terror typing on it with a move set of rain dance electric terrain metal sound and thunder so the idea of this set is to get your electric terrain Rain Dance set up, get those metal sounds off, which is going to reduce the special defense on the Decidueye by two times every time you use it. And then with the Rain Dance in effect, Thunder has 100% accuracy, so you're going to be able to launch that at the Decidueye and do some big damage. We've also got the analytic ability on it, which boosts the power if you hit after your opponent is hit you. So most of the time, because Magnazon is going to be really slow, it is going to be hitting last, meaning that you're going to get that analytic boost on your thunder attacks, meaning you're going to be able to do a little bit more damage there. We've got a modest nature on it with a straightforward EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack here, and then the rest dumped in defense. So I don't think you really need to worry too much about the EV spread there. Other than that, with that modest nature, max HP and special attack, with the analytic ability this move set and the shell bell as its item but i think a really nice option and uh, can play a decent support role as well if you go online to play it with others now i will just give a mention to iron hands you've got to keep in mind that it will just be taking neutral damage from any of the flying type attacks on decidueye but i do want to put it in here because i do feel like it can do a decent job against this decidueye just because of its electric typing and of course once you get to the point where you're going to be able to terrestrialize you're no longer going to have that neutral damage from the flying type attacks you're going to be resisting it because you're pure electric type and you've lost that fighting type stab but again if you are just wanting to do these raids solo this might be a good option we've given it the held item citrus berry we've been around this barbecue a few times with iron hands we've got an adamant nature 252 hp 252 attack cork drive is the ability there and the moveset is going to be belly drum electric terrain drain punch and thunder punch so you pretty much just want to start the battle off by going for the belly drum get that citrus berry boost then if you need to you can use drain punch to get a little bit of recovery there but thunder punch is going to be your main attacking option once you are on plus six and you've got the electric terrain that you can set up to further boost that as well i don't know how effective iron hands will be going into this raid but generally it's a very bulky pokemon it's got good defenses so it should be able to do a decent job against the decidueye the only thing that i might say worth considering would be because you're not going to be relying too much on the drain punch as a form of recovery then maybe to give it the shell bell so when you do do big damage with the thunder punch then you're recovering health at the same time which is kind of half the battle with the seven star terror raids now the next Pokemon we are going to feature is Toxtricity and it is the electric and poison type Pokemon. I really like this as a build going into Decidueye. It's going to resist those flying type attacks because of its electric typing 
and the grass type attacks because of its poison type in as well. And then you've got that electric terror type on there. Shell Bell, again, common theme going into these raids this week with these builds. We have the move set of electric terrain, taunt, acid spray, and overdrive. Basic premise of this, we talked about it in the overview of Decidueye. It's got good setup options to taunt it. Turn one, stop it from being able to set up, set your electric terrain up, and then acid spray three times before then terastalizing and hitting it with a super powered overdrive. The acid spray, of course, every time you use it, it is gonna reduce the special defense on the decidui by two stages and then it does hit through the shield as well so you don't need to worry about shields in effect here and with the electric terrain boosting your overdrive attack you're going to do some nice damage especially when you are terrestrialized we've got the punk rock ability here which is useful and then an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack with a modest nature so that is the toxicity and probably my pick outside of the weavile i like weavile because weavile is one of my favorite pokemon i do feel like it can do a really good job but outside of that i feel like toxicity is probably going to be one of the most consistent pokemon going into this raid next up is belly bolt belly bolt the electric type pure electric type with the electric terror typing as well again shell bell is the option could go with leftovers or expert bell on this one because it does have a recovery move in its move pool and we do have it on this set we went for slack off rain dance acid spray and thunder so a little bit like with the toxicity here are going to be a very consistent pokemon going to resist those flying type attacks and it is bulky enough to take damage from the other stabs that it will have access to slack off going to give you a form of recovery of course rain dance going to make sure that that thunder is hitting for 100 percent accurate every time you use it and a bit like the toxicity you're going to start the battle off by probably setting your rain dance up here and then going for those acid sprays until you can terrestrialize and with the electromorphosis ability as well boosting your electric type attacks because you are pretty slow you're going to be doing very nice damage we've got a modest nature with 252 hp 252 special attack on this belly bolt and i feel like it will do a very good job going into this like i say the shell bell is a nice consistent option but if you want something like leftovers or if you want more power an expert belt is a great addition if you want to go for that on the belly bolt and some bonus picks as well that i think can be quite good if you want to just use different things going into this raid chen pao is going to be a really nice one i feel uh, it has got that dark type and going to resist the ghost type attacks that are going to be able to hit it for super effective damage with its ice stab attacks as well. We've got the expert belt on Shen Pao because it does have a form of recovery with recover on its moveset. So recover, sword stance, taunt, and then ice spinner going to be its main attacking move. Premise of this is going to be taunting Decidueye, stop it from setting up, of course, then set yourself up with something like Sword Stance, recover when necessary, and then hit it with Ice Spinners until you can obviously get the Terrestrialization and then do some big damage with it. EV spread, we have went for a 252 HP, 252 attack with an adamant nature here. Sword of Rune is the ability and that is Shen Pao. And another bonus pick for us today is gonna to be Satitan. I do feel like Satitan probably will do a decent job against. It is one of the only other belly drum users that we have access to that might be good against this terror raid. Uh, but the ice type obviously gonna be very good against the flying type that the Decidueye is. Uh, we've got the Shell Bell item on here as a line of recovery as always. So the move set for Satitan will looking at charm snowscape ice spinner and belly drum the premise of this going to be belly drum turn one and then hit it with ice spinner to get that recovery back through the shell bell item of course we've got snowscape on there that is an option just in case we do see some weather effect from the decidua i like the rain dance if it does have hurricane of course if it doesn't then you can just change that for something else but nice to have an option to disrupt or support following pokemon if you would like to and then charm as well which is going to be a nice option to disrupt decidui by reducing its attack stat by two stages every time you use it so if it does have something like that sword stance then you can utilize the charm as long as the shield's not up to reduce the attack stat there on the decidui i mean it's not going to hit as hard EV spread, we have 252 HP, 252 attack, so it has a huge HP stat. So going to be able to take a lot of attacks from the Decidue. I mean, it'll be able to set up and hopefully do some good damage with that Ice Spinner attack when you do eventually terrestrialize. Ability Thick Fat on it, we can also go with something like Slush Rush if you want to get that speed boost, but not really going to matter too much because we are in a Terror Raid. But that is the Satitan. It is a Belly Drum user. Unfortunately, not going to resist any of the attacks from the 
the Decidueye and one of the ones why I threw it in the bonus option rather than in the other options. But as I say, I think the best options going into this raid are going to be something like Toxtricity. It feels a very well-rounded Pokemon going into this raid and also Mariadon as well. But I'll also throw in Weavile because I think Weavile can do a decent job against it. And hopefully it does when it comes round to these events. So that is everything that we're going to cover in today's video. I hope you enjoy this best builds video for this new seven star Decidueye raid, which is dropping on the 17th of March. So not very long, but let me know in the comment section below what you think you'll take into this terror raid event. I would love to hear your suggestions and what you think you'll come up with. Of course, when this terror raid event goes live, we will cover it with all of the details and do a subsequent video on the best solo Pokemon to make this easy to do in your games. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please drop a like. It really helps out the video. And make sure that you do subscribe to the channel to not miss any of the latest news in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and any more of these raid build videos going forward. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourself more importantly than anything else. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Since then, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>